So I finally have my auto calibration routine figured out on my printer here. What I've done is I have three, four sensing resistors. You can see the uh, leads off of that one. Uh, but they're underneath the plate of my end effector and sandwiched between it and the adapter for the hot end. So whenever the hot end is pressed into the uh, table, it squishes all three of those uh, four sensitive resistors and they go through a uh, operational amplifier with a Wheatstone bridge circuit. So, you know, there's the four sensing resistor along with its coupling uh, resistor for the voltage divider going into the operational amplifier and then I've got a reference uh, circuit there. So in theory, since this is TTL, that's actually uh, 2.5 volts. But that runs through this operational amplifier and into this AND gate. So what happens is, when that little circuit that's on top of there, uh, it can only uh, send the signal to the Z-min end stop, which is used for the auto calibration routine in this firmware, to uh, say that it's actually reached its uh, probe point on the bed. So right now I don't have a means of really calibrating this. All I can do is attach my meter to this output here and see whenever it goes high. Whenever it goes high that's when uh, all these force sensing resistors are made. So what I really need to do is make an individual uh, non-inverting uh, input reference here with a potentiometer on this side. That way I can tune each one of these circuits individually so that I can see if they're on and off and um, essentially I can lock down the mechanical part of it and then tune the electrical part of it separately. But what it means is that uh, only when all three force sensing resistors are made will it actually send a signal to the uh, hardware. So you got uh, positive, negative, and of course the signal that come in from the Roomba or sorry, the signal comes out of my little control bar and back into the Roomba, and that's all wired into the Z minimum end stop inside of the Roomba uh, board itself. So what all this means is that I can get into uh, Repetier Host and go ahead and home it out. So it goes and homes itself on all axes. I'll be tidying up a wire later. I've just been doing a lot of experimenting right now. So it uh, goes ahead and hits all the end stops. Then I can come up here to the G code and type in G29A and hit the go button on that. It comes down to its starting uh, point where it knows that it's safe to go from and goes ahead and starts this probing routine. Now right now the force required to actuate it is too great again because my circuit is designed improperly but uh, it picks several different points on the bed and uh, calibrates to each one of those so in theory you want this thing to be hot whenever you're doing that because you've got thermal expansion uh, in effect but in theory, once you've done this, since you don't have to have an external operating switch, since you're actually probing from the nozzle point itself, you've got no offsets. There's no error that can be had other than mechanical errors and the remainder of the uh, printer. Earlier I had an issue where it would uh, go to a probe point and then it would just take off up in the air and it would keep on going and keep on going it would completely ignore the end stop, the maximum end stop. Well, uh, yeah, see it's requiring too much force and it's sliding across the table. Um, but it would require so much, or it was uh, not inverting so what it kept on thinking was it would go down to a point and then it would jump up five millimeters because it thought they had already met the table. Then it would jump up five millimeters again because it kept on seeing that logic high input. So all I had to do was invert the Z minimum end stop and then it was all clear. It worked from there. But I am super stoked to get that working. And I'm 
take the number of probe points down because it's referencing like five different times. And the majority of the reason that it's referencing so many times while it's jumping up and down so many times is because it's uh, set up so that it um, probes until it gets uh, 0.03 millimeters repeatability. So part of the reason that it's not getting 0.03 millimeters repeatability is because the force required is so great. And once I tune the circuit a bit more, it won't be doing that.